Anderson, actually, I mean, when you look at the punch stats, you you landed more power punches on him. It seemed as if, you know, from watching the fight, for some of us anyway, that you were outboxing him. Did you feel like the scorecards were favoring you as you went into that final round, honestly? Well, you know, I failed in the strategy, you know. In uh, the last round, uh, the Jake take the good punch, you know. And I'm my base is not correct, you know. That's my coach say. My base is not correct, and that's I take the punch. But I don't feel knock, knockout. I don't feel power, but I'm not in good balance, and that's I take the punch. Of course, I... I have a more experience, and I doing this a lot, and this is happening. It's happening with me again, one more time. You know, the last time it happened to me when I fight with uh, um, uh, I forgot the name, the guy in UFC. Ryan. No. Tito. Yeah, Ryan Hall. Yeah, yeah, Ryan. I I fell two times in that situation, you know, and that time. I just talked to my coach, I don't believe it, because I train hard for don't do the same uh, stupid uh, position, you know. But I'm human, I'm superhero, but sometimes the my half human fail, yeah. It's surreal, uh, I, I don't think it'll hit me until like a couple of weeks from now. I feel like I'm living in a movie. You know, he was the one that told me I could accomplish anything if I set my mind to it. Uh, you couldn't have written this in a story. It feels feels like a movie. And just being in the ring with him, seeing his heart, you know, his courage, his bravery, that's the champion that I look up to, looked up to, and um, he's such an inspiration. And, you know, I, I had to go in there and match his heart tonight, uh, a heart that I saw through the TV screen when I was a kid. Um, so it's it just surreal and uh, doesn't make any sense, to be honest. And that punch that dropped him, uh, you said after, when, you, when you knocked out Tyron Woodley, you, you saw him, you were trying to catch that punch, and then you came over the top and dropped him. So when you did drop Anderson, was that an opening you knew you could take advantage of in there? I mean, I was throwing, we were throwing shots all night, and that one just caught him off guard when he was coming, coming up. Um, so I, really, like, <laughs> we, were, we were just throwing. And he was taking harder shots than that. That wasn't even the hardest punch of the night. It was obviously just the timing. Um, I was just surprised by his toughness because I was dropping sparring partners all camp with those shots to the body um, and shots to the head. Uh, he, he's built different. You know, the guys fought through broken bones and all sorts of stuff. Uh, to, so to beat someone like that, you got to dig deep. And that's, that's what I did tonight down in round number eight. Were you confident you had done enough when it went to the scorecards? Wow, you know, I, I just tried to follow uh, the orders of my coach, and uh, I, that's I talked to my coach in, in the room. I said, I don't believe I take knockout in the, in the last round. That's stupid, and I fell in the strategy, you know? And um, th that's I feel, and that's I talked to my coach. I fell my mission, and I back to home training, better and try to make the strategy correct in the next time you know that's is back to the drawing board mm -hmm. uh, and we'll we'll see who it is but you know Nate Diaz was here acting like a bitch uh, everyone wants that fight he tried to fight people in the hallway you know Nate stop fighting people for free let's do it mm -hmm. in the ring okay I know I know you're a little slow buddy but uh it's okay. We can make that fight happen. And you too, Canelo. You're getting old. You looked weird against Triple G. Um, I, I still want that fight as well. And I think now, like I said it 18 months ago, oh, well, Canelo. And then everyone, I was sitting in a room just like this, and they were, everyone was like, oh, fucking idiot. And then now, 18 months later, here we are. And when I say that, maybe people are taking it a little bit more seriously now. Um, and, and I still mean it, and I still want that fight. Are you the one that strictly makes those decisions? Are you the one that's actually powering through those requests and choosing? Do you, do you actually have someone in your mind that you kind of want and you go for? Or do you go through those requests? And All of the above. And it just, you know, who makes sense at the right time and who actually wants to do it and who will actually show up and be a professional and make weight. But it is who I want, you know. I want uh, more. Even people on my team, my coaches and stuff were like, well, are you sure you want Anderson? Are you sure? And I was like, yes, I can do this. Uh, and, you know, if someone makes sense, like, 
a, a bigger name in the space, then maybe maybe we can do something. Um, but I, I want to fight big names. I want to fight boxers. I, I want to fight uh, anyone who's going to give me a challenge where fans will be like, I don't know who's going to win this fight. Those are the fights I like to make. And that was exactly what we did here. I think the fight could have gone either way. There was ways where he could win and there's ways where I could win. Hey, hey, hey Jake, um, right, right over here? Yep. Um, I, I just have to ask because your brother was here, Logan. Um, what did he tell you and what, what are you going to tell him for his Roman Reign WWE fight? That Did he inspire each other from tonight? Yeah, man, he, he gave me a speech in the locker room. I, I love that man so much, and he just put it all in perspective uh, as to what we are accomplishing together. Um, and it's so amazing to have a partner in crime. The kid's a genius. He's such a kind person. I look up to him. Uh, he makes me a better person. He inspires me every day. Um, and I can't believe next weekend he's going to take on another massive, massive name in combat sports in the WWE Championship. Um, it, it's surreal what we're building. I think we might be the new Kardashians. <laughs> hey, well, but who, who's going to... Never mind, never mind. Jake. Jake, real quick. Jake, you have got your hat, you have got your cheeks. What do you have for Anderson? I got respect for him. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Good job. All right, all right. Thank you, guys. It was turn. It was turn. <laughs> Thank you, Jake. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, Jake.